Hanford, the most contaminated nuclear site in the Western Hemisphere. A cleanup that will span multiple generations. And they'll never be able to clean it up. On a major river. The Columbia River. Spans several hundred miles. Goes through some major cities. It's right on that Columbia River. Going through Richland, Kennewick. And it leads all the way out to the ocean. Going even through Portland. So this whole river waterway is contaminated. And they've been wondering what happened to the salmon. Well, probably Hanford had a lot to do with it. What do officials do? They make Hanford a state park. That's right. A signing ceremony in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday made the Manhattan Project National Historical Park official. The Tri-Cities and the other gateway communities hope the national park status will provide a boost to their economy. They had a second annual Ride the Reactor bike tour that took place on Saturday. Sixty people rode a 14-mile track around Hanford's decommissioned B reactor. It's part of a federal effort to get the public more connected to the nation's nuclear history. Don't try to breathe too hard. You might have to like, hold in your breath 15 miles. I mean, they're finding 10 times the lethal limit at Hanford. So it exceeds lethal limits by tenfold, and they just made this place a state park. That's, that's how they deal with it. So they just recently had tunnel collapses. A 20 by 20 foot collapse section of tunnel was found on Tuesday. And they're having these bike rides go around this area. Unbelievable. Ride the reactor. They had this on October 7th. 15 miles. Participants may ride any length, either shorter or longer. This is a pretty bad idea because this, this is actually, they dump barrels of contaminated waste in open trenches. And there was no liner. What if a terrorist was to go on this bike ride? It could actually... Dig up some of this plutonium, pretty bad idea if you ask me. But it's now a National Historical Park. What is so crazy about this, now look on the other side of the Columbia River. You see all this green area on the right side? These are all apple fields. That's right, apples. The number one state apple producer. And what do you know? bunch of apple plantations to the right of the Columbia River that's probably going to be contaminated it's going to be feeding those apple fields my girlfriend she goes to the store and she comes home with apples and I tell her please before you buy the apples make sure they're not from Washington State because I am not going to take that chance I've got to take my chances with a New York apple than a Washington apple you know they have multiple factors that's playing a part here not only are they on the west coast which means they're going to be having Fukushima fallout and heavier concentrations they also have Hanford so this is like a double whammy so it's supposed to be closed to the public but now it's a state park so it's just some crazy shit from the DOE Rick Perry he wants to make nuclear cool again so you see on average Washington State grows 125 million boxes of apples per year over 175,000 acres of apple orchards in Washington State and when I go shopping for apple juice, look at the top producers of apples. All the top four producers of apples say they have contamination issues. Turkey, they got fallout from Russia. If you look at a lot of the apple juices you go to the store, a lot of it says Turkey. Poland, they have some issues from Chernobyl. The United States, most of the apples are coming from Washington State. And China, half of the rivers are contaminated. Sadly, I'd probably have to go with China over the other three apple producers.